My daughter, the eight-year-old, decided she was the only person brave enough to put me up to the ass challenge. Something may have gotten lost in translation when she saw her mom take the ALS challenge. But it turns out she knows what the old man likes. So in the interests of the ass challenge, I'm having a dram of single barrel bourbon Blantons, my favorite cigar, a Toronto, and I'm on the lookout for something I can smack it up, flip it, rub it down. Oh no! Other people who I think will enjoy the ass challenge. Jeff Tucker. I haven't forgotten, I still owe you a cigar. I prefer personal delivery, but we'll have to see how it plays out. Jacob Tipskin, another brother of the beard, I owe you a David off. A bet's a bet, I'll get it to you. Shannon Reich, because I think you'll enjoy a man who has a beard, a cigar, a dram of quality whiskey, and is looking for a little booty play. Scott Bradley, CCT High Speed Low Drag Joey, Mickey Bradshaw, Big Jake, and Jan Garrick. If you're going to participate, and I highly encourage you to, get some high quality whiskey, the same for a cigar, and I believe all the fellows I've called out are married to high quality women that scientists can calibrate their instruments by the roundness of their butts. Enjoy all three together. Donate a hundred dollars to ALS. If you have another hundred dollars laying around, Donate that to my friend Jason Fine. <clears throat> For everybody else watching who would like to participate, please do. While price isn't always indicative of quality, there is a reason a Ferrari costs more than a Kia. You aren't going to find a quality whiskey at the grocery store, or a cigar for that matter. Get the good stuff. Life is short. And if someone dumping a bucket of ice water on you is the greatest hardship you face all week, you might want to have a good long hard look at your candy ass life. <laughs>